What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, I want to talk about Herman Cain. And we all know that Herman Cain passed away from complications due to coronavirus. And we know that right before that, he was at a Donald Trump rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which, you know, that was a, a big mess in itself. And he was there without a mask on, okay? Uh, and I'll talk about the negative responses that I've been receiving, or, or not, or I've been reading rather, regarding his passing. Before we kind of get into the negative, let's talk about Herman Cain as a person. Herman Cain, like many of us, came from you know very meager circumstances, all right? He was born in Memphis, his parents had a very, a very, very low quality of life. He wasn't born into any type of things that was luxurious. But Herman Cain believed that he had self-agency. We want to get into that in a minute, all right? When he grew up in Atlanta, he believed that he had self-agency. And although he grew up in a time where blacks were segregated, and even though his mom was a cleaning woman and his dad worked on the farm, he said, you know what? Despite all of these things, I'm going to make something of myself in life. And damn it, that is what Herman Cain did. He went to Morehouse and got a bachelor's in mathematics. He went to Purdue, got a master's in science in computer science. He was then also a ballistics analyst in the Navy. And then after that, it wasn't enough. He could have stopped there. But you know what he said? I'm going to go and become, not only am I going to uh, be uh, dominate computer systems analyst departments, but I'm going to also go into and become a CEO. And he managed 400 Burger King stores in the Philadelphia area by the age of 36. Damn it, Herman Cain was that guy. And then he went and then he became a CEO of Papa John's Pizza. Not only that, he was the chairman of the Federal Reserve Bank in Kansas City. The guy did a lot with his life. He worked hard. He didn't let racism stop him from what he was going to do. He's busy all his life. He's been with the same wife all his life. But the problem is, he's a Republican. And see, in black America, in America in general, if you are a person that comes from Herman Cain's situation, and then you make it, and then you tell people to stop crying about what's going on in the world and that you can make it based on your own efforts. People are going to hate you. All right? I'm just going to be honest with you. People are going to hate you. And not only are I'm seeing... Uh, whites that are writing articles about his death, trashing him. Unfortunately, I'm seeing African-Americans trashing him also. And why? Because he was a Trump supporter. Now, guys, let me say this, okay? It may be wrong for Herman Cain, or as you may see other people like that, who are black conservatives, and they take the same initiatives as Candace Owens are the same initiatives as Herman Cain or, or, or um, uh, Anthony Brian Logan. All right. Brandon Tatum, you know, and both of those guys, you know, you, you guys, uh, I know a lot of you guys don't like them. I, I, I like what they do to a certain degree. Um, and the most part is I like that they stand on what they have to say. Even if I don't agree sometimes. All right. A lot of times I don't when it comes to black community. But do you know what? God forbid that they have a difference of an opinion. 
you guys wish the worst things on him. Like so many people are, are glad that Herman Cain passed away. Like that's what he gets. And do you know who you're talking about? You're talking about an African-American that married his wife. He loved his wife. He went to a black college. He came from nothing. He worked hard. No, he wasn't perfect. He had black children. He raised his children. He gave his children the best life he could give them. He did a whole lot with his life, but because he liked Donald Trump, all of a sudden you're glad that something bad happened to the man. This is how this is how foolish some people are. And do you know you're talking about one of your best people? Do you understand if we had a lot of people that put the same effort into Herman Cain, the black community would be a different place. But you trash your people because why? He thought differently than you did. He looked at things politically different than you did. He thought that, you know what, that, you know, maybe racism is not a problem at all. It's not the biggest problem. Self-agency is black people's biggest problem. And I can disagree with that to a certain level. I, I think that racism is a definitely a great problem. But in the case of Herman Cain, that wasn't his issue. He might have actually knew that it was a problem. And he might even admit it, but he didn't let it stop him. But you know what he showed that if you were anxious in this country and willing to do the work, my God, could you be great? And a lot of us hate him for that. And some of the times the worst things you can tell African-Americans is that, you know what? You have the self agency to do whatever you need to do. Stop blaming white folks for your problems. If you tell black people that many times they're through with it. And I want to tell people this, they have a problem with him and you're glad that, you know, oh, that's what he gets for voting for Trump. Let me tell you something. The man has accomplished more in his life than some of you will ever do in yours. All right. And let's just be honest. Now, I know that I trash celebrities and I have picked my fun at them, but I would never wish that somebody passes away. Come on now, we, we got to be on. We got to be honest. He's still our people. He's still one of the top 10 percent performing African Americans. He got there by hard work, and he wanted to be something. And damn it, that's good enough for me. I don't even care if he liked whoever. I, I can tell you this: there are people right now that are liberals, and you guys know that. I, I just cannot. Huh. Joe Biden supporters. Huh. Bernie Sanders supporters, Clinton supporters, hardcore Barack Obama supporters. I, I don't like them. I don't. I'm sorry. The black community has, has been hurt by those people. And even, you know, those on the right. I, I'm, 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 I'm more in the middle for what's good for blacks. I want what's good for blacks. I'm talking from that position. But do you know what? I'm willing to work with our people on whatever level they are at. Because it's about black people working together. You know, there are people like Herman Cain that you need to have relationships with. You can't cut your water off, guys. All right? The Officer Tatums of the world, the Brandon Tatums of the world. They are still our people. Even if you think that they're buffooning and they're, they're working for the white man and all that stuff. Hey, listen, you don't, that doesn't mean that you hate them. They are not your problems. They are not robbing you. They are not like, 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 like people are acting like Herman Cain's did something to them. Like he robbed you. He, he had a difference of opinion. Even Candace Owens with all of that zaddy and she's doing and all of that buffooning she's doing. I don't hate Candace Owens. She did nothing, did nothing to me. But certain people we can agree on something. So trying to help black people do better things. And we need to listen to each other. You know what? A lot of you guys can't stand uh, 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 the, the black conservatives. And I, and I can get it. I can understand it. But you don't wish those bad things on them. 
they're still our people. Our people all came on the same. We went through the same situation. We got to have compassion for our people, regardless of what they believe politically or whatever. Some people are lost, family. I'm just going to be honest. Where I am right now is not where I was five years ago. Now, I'm 80% there, but I'm a little bit more woken out. Some people change and they get more woke and they understand, you know what, as a black person, I've been too hard on our folks. I need to do better. Stop hating your people because they feel differently than you. And Herman Cain, may you rest in peace, brother. I thank you for showing people like me that you know what? You can come from nothing and make something of it. And you are the masters of your destiny. If Herman Cain didn't teach any of us that, he, he taught us that with his life. You get out there every day and you put your best foot forward and you do what you're supposed to do and you don't let racism or whatever be the reason why you can't make it in life. That's what he taught me. And I hope he taught you that too. Guys, take care of yourself and each other. Like Jerry Springer always says. As you know, the buffoon remains at all-time high. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. Um, you know, really thank you guys. That's my Patreon. My uh, All of my information is there. You can find a black man at Perfect T-shirts. Uh, and guys... Appreciate you. As you know, the buffoonery remains at all time high. I'm out.